Welcome to the Big Red Hunters podcast. We want to start up by saying thank you to our sponsors. First one up, Big Frig Coolers. Uh, they offer coolers, cattle, cattle coolers that hold medications and vaccinations for cattle, tumblers, growlers, dry boxes. The coolest thing about all of it is you can customize it all. We can put the Big Red Hunters logo on all of it. If you want to check it out, uh, check out bigfrig.com. And if you have any questions, uh, email info at bigfrig. Next is Glory Visuals. They specialize in wedding and commercial films. Um, they do a fantastic job. So check them out at glorievisuals.com. Next up, Other Guys Outfitters. They specialize in dry field. Uh, so here in Nebraska, Mallard and uh, Canada Goose Hunts. Uh, they run from November through February. If you haven't, uh, Dive Bomb did a video with them. It's incredible. Uh, if you want to book a hunt, Contact Crager at 308 637 7777 and you can check him out on Instagram and Facebook. Next up is Dital Photography. <laughs> this is me and Hunter's personal photography business. You can check us out on Instagram at Dital Photography, where you will find our contact information and our website. Next up, Redbeard's Custom Calls. He runs the Timber Rattler and the Cut Down for his duck call and then the Crescent Guard Goose Call. Use that crossing guard to literally land a goose on our layout blinds a couple years ago. It was amazing. Andrew, incredible. Uh, give him a call if you want to get one, 712-898-6989, and let him know we sent you because he'll give you 10% off. Next up is Chaku Peru, made by Angelo. He does big game and waterfowl hunts in U.S., Mexico, South America, Europe, and Australia. So check him out at chakuperu.com or 469-999-4043. With that being said, let's our BRH podcast sponsors and let's jump into the episode. Three, two, one. Welcome to the Big Red Hunters pilot episode of the podcast. This is Hunter Didel and my wife. Shay Didel. Hey guys. Uh, today we're just going to be kind of going over uh, how we got this started, where we got our idea, basically how we met, uh, what Big Red Hunters is about, and then where we're going to go from for here. So I'm going to let Shay take off how we met because it's a pretty interesting story. Oh, uh, yeah, I love this story. <laughs> um, so I actually was a senior in high school, and my husband was in college. And we decided, well, not the same, or not with the same group of people, but separately went to Playmore, which if any of you are from Nebraska, that's your country line dancing every Sunday night. And so I was there with a couple of friends just hanging out and... Um, was dancing and a slow song came on and this guy named Hunter came up to me and asked if we could dance. So of course, because of his handsome looks, I said yes. I mean, look at this guy. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> and so we were dancing and you know, I went to play more pretty often. So I would often get asked for my number or if we could hang out after. And so I got to the point where I just started lying and making up kind of <laughs> fake names or giving fake numbers out because I was kind of just tired of giving my number out. So Hunter asked my name and I told him my name was Shay and which is true, but on social media at the time, my real name was Sheridan. And then I told him that um, I was in college, which I was obviously in high school and I was at Nebraska Wesleyan, nursing student, a cheerleader, 
and just kind of told them all the things that was going to happen but wasn't currently happening and um, realized towards the end of the dance that I actually kind of liked this guy. He was actually kind of cool and not weird like a lot of the other ones. So I kind of realized I screwed up, but just kind of went with it. And he got my real number. We texted for about two weeks, and I just kept kind of playing along. And then shortly afterwards, I kind of broke the news that, you know. um, Terrible. (laughs) Just terrible. These things are not technically true yet. They're going to be happening. But Mm -hmm. I'm actually a senior in high school at Elmwood Murdoch, and um, I'm going to be a nurse, and I'm going to cheer there, but I am not there quite yet. So So do I get to tell my side of the story then? Uh, Yes, I guess. All right, so I and a buddy decide, hey, we're going to go uh, go to this place. I had never been there, but he had. So showed up, whole new experience for me because obviously it's new. It's kind of, it's a really cool place if you've been there, but it's kind of dingy and just has its own personality. What? I would say personality. It's pretty cool. <clears throat> oh, yeah, for go sure. Check but it out. Uh, it, it's just, I'd never, I'd never been in that situation. So I was there, and next thing you know, uh, I was with my buddy, and a couple girls popped down in the booth with us because, you know, he's from the area. One, one lo and behold, was Shay. But, of course, uh, <laughs> she doesn't remember it to this day <laughs> that she was there. I really don't. I'm so sorry. then she just, like, <laughs> she, she wanted to dance, so she, like, took off. The other girls didn't talk to us, but, you know, of course, Shay must have been too excited about dancing or something, whatever. But So I get out there, ask to <laughs> dance. This whole thing, you know, happens, and, like... She gives me her number over text and whatnot. I obviously caught her name, so I, I like, tried to look on Facebook. wasn't there, and I'm like, okay, this is weird. So then finally, <laughs> like, she told me, and I was like, are you kidding me? Like, of course. You kind of forgot about the creepy part. Oh, okay. <laughs> so at the time, I was I was playing soccer for Grace University, and I had a, on the website, I had my own player profile. And I was like, I couldn't find her on Facebook and Instagram. I was like, this is pretty weird. You'd think, like, a teenage girl would have at least one or the other. And so I went on to the website for Nebraska Wesley and see she there, and she wasn't. I was like, what the Creepy. heck? Yeah, whatever. Well, <laughs> you still weren't there, you liar. Well, I ended up doing all those things, so technically I just told you the future. And look, now I'm your wife. Yeah, I suppose. Oh, <laughs> cool. <laughs> Uh, but that, that kind of finishes up how we met. Um, honestly, it's been a great ride. Uh, Shay's going to be a part of a lot of, or wants to be a part of most episodes. We're both really busy, but she plans to be on the podcast quite frequently, if not all the time. So be prepared. We're looking forward to, I, I think there's a lot of podcasts that has the guy personalities and experiences, but I think that the industry is really growing with women and i think it's going to be super fun to have a a woman's experience yeah we are girl hunters out there all the time we need to represent too so yeah so thanks babe yeah i'm just excited for the whole thing so let's on let's jump on to the bigger and hunter side of it so in 2017 we started bigger hunters it was i and a buddy uh really got started out as just something like a throw together instagram account we didn't really think anything of it um from there, it kind of grew, and it was one of those things like, why well, we make some gear? Because, you know, friends and family kind of saw our Instagram. It's like, hey, why not make some gear? And we're like, hey, why not make some gear? So we made some gear, <laughs> went from there. Uh, and t- was it last July, Shay and I decided to take it over ourselves. He just wanted to go to direction. Um, and uh, we decided to more, we wanted to rebrand. Uh, before our mission was to basically share the good love of Nebraska outdoors. And that in itself is an awesome thing, but that doesn't, you know, I, uh, as a mission, as a company, I want to stand for something. I want to yeah. have a mission. And yeah, so we want to do something more. Our mission as it stands, um, and we'll continue to stand to be is we want to provide resources for new hunters um, and be able to help them get out in the field. And this, this is another um, this is another part of it. This is another part of us being able to create value and share our experiences and be able to have some how tos, um, some basically some experiences from all different sides of the story. So I really look forward to it. But yeah, uh, twenty four point one k followers currently. Yeah, crushing it. 
Woot, woot, woot. So if you haven't followed us on Instagram, make sure you do that at bigredhunters. Well, dot com is our <laughs> URL, but Instagram at big red hunters. Big red hunters. To the, the game. game. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Uh, but guys, let's uh, the type. Basically, this type of podcasts we're gonna be super conservate or conservation. That's another part, but conversationalist. Uh, the type of guests we're gonna have industry standard types guests like Big Frig, um, which is a sponsor of our. We're gonna have um, industry giants. Uh, we're gonna talk about anything and everything with big game, waterfowl, um, upland game. Um, we kind of do it all here, bigger hunters. I know we focus a little more on waterfowl and upland. But I do love big game, too. So we're going to get into everything. Uh, we're going to talk about how-tos, tips and tricks. We're basically going to take the experiences we've had and be able to pass them on to make it easier because the biggest thing that's standing between a new hunter and getting out there and hunting is big steps like how to find land, what should I use, right. and how to use the stuff. Right. So we're here to act as a resource to be able to teach people how to do that as well as share our experiences right. when we're out in the field. Lots of good stories. And if you guys ever have um, something you want us to address or maybe even a fun topic we could talk about, shoot us a message because um, we always are open to ideas. I mean, this is not only for us but for you guys. So if there's anything you ever want us to talk about, please tell us. Yeah. That uh, – it's going to be super exciting, guys. Obviously, we want you really involved, so make sure to uh, review our podcast as we're getting kind of started here. It makes a huge, huge difference on getting us out there and be able to um, share it with new hunters. If you got a new hunter that is a friend of yours, this is a great podcast to share with them because that's what we're focused on. So, And uh, that doesn't take away from the fact that we want to just more or less entertain people, too, because... If you're a more experienced or veteran hunter, you know, maybe, you know, shoot us a message. Maybe we'd love to have you on and just talk stories. That would be fun, too. So, better. I mean, you always can learn something. There's sure. lots of stuff out there to learn. So, I don't know. You kind of act like you know it all, baby. I was just going to say that about you, mister. I never thinking have you things. know everything. Psh, you Jeez. learn from me. What are you talking about? <laughs> but, uh, yeah. what are you most excited about, babe? For the podcast? Yeah. I don't know. I think just like hearing other people's stories. I'm a I'm a huge story person. I and I will gladly share plenty of stories, especially embarrassing ones about Hunter. But I just like hearing stories and people's um, love for the hunting. And you know, I love kids, and I I think that's the best part, honestly, during the actual experience is like seeing little kids learn how to hunt. That's really cool. So I'm excited overall for everything. But just hearing stories is what I'm excited about. How about you? Uh, before I get into that, man, I, so guys, we already have planned, we've got a, a buddy of mine is Jared and we hunt together all the time and boy, do we have a story for you mm, about so his good. son Oh my early season. I don't want to get into it. I really do, but it's we're too gonna, good. You'll have to wait for it. We're going to have to have him and Joe on here. That would just oh. be the bee's knees. I think they would just laugh. Oh my gosh. Long story short, the title will be gun versus water. And know. dog. I would say gun versus Boone. Boone is a dog. <laughs> so gun versus water gun versus dog. Oh, well. well. I don't know. We'll figure something out. But that's a good story. So stay tuned for that one. So talking about my thing I'm looking most forward to in this podcast, I think there's a couple things. Uh, for starters, I really look forward to uh, getting an email from a new hunter that says, you really helped me out. You really helped me get into the field and get hunting, um, and I appreciate your resource. Uh, we do get those on Instagram, those messages once in a while, but um, with our new uh, level of resource for new hunters, this can be really exciting to see what kind of uh, resource. And the second part is I, I look forward to building relationships. I think this social media can be really negative and it can be really positive depending on what you use it for and how it's used. And uh, there's a lot of amazing people out there that uh, are in a lot of ways happy to talk to you if you give them the time. So this kind of provides a, a way to share their voice and share their experiences and get to know people outside of your normal range of view and people. So yeah. I look forward to 
getting that opportunity to talk to people. So great way to connect. But uh, not just people in Nebraska, but I mean, we know people from Texas, South Dakota, all sorts of places, and not just because we know them, but it's been through Big Red Hunters, and so I think. This has been a great opportunity, too, to connect people outside of Nebraska. Even though it's Big Red Hunters, I mean, in all honesty, we have a quite a big following outside of Nebraska, too. So it's yeah. pretty cool. Yeah, I, honestly, I'd, I'm surprised on the amount of people that follow us, but I appreciate they do because yeah. it's fun to share our stories with them. So uh, the last thing kind of thing we'll probably touch on before we get going here um, is – we really look forward to talking to creators. So creators can be from YouTube. Uh, we do have a YouTube, uh, Bigger at Hunters. I think I put out somewhere around 20 hunts of ours this year. So if you're looking to look at some hunting while we're in the off season, just because, you know, if you're like me, you get duck depression, check it out. Make <laughs> sure to hit subscribe and just wait for next season to come around. I think that's a serious <laughs> thing, hunting depression, I swear. Yeah, don't gets a little sad around here during get, off season. Don't get don't don't get her started. <laughs> oh man. Uh but we're talking about talking to uh content creators. That could be anything as simple as taking photos. Uh well it's not really it's not really basic or easy or simple in any way, but uh looking to talk to uh, uh photographers, videographers, uh YouTubers, really in the gambit because I think that there's, at least for us too, is there's been a big push on creating content for people to see that is just outstanding. And I really look forward to being able to talk to some content creators and get their, their viewpoint because there's a lot of them out there that create some fantastic shots. So, and as we kind of grow and doing that too, it's it's been amazing. And uh, it's been kind of interesting for us because we started – obviously doing photos when we started the Instagram and it's just gotten better and better. And a uh, big part of that is my, my dear sweet wife here. And if, uh, if you're in Lincoln and you're looking for some photos, hit she, me up, title photography. Yeah. I'm all for it. I do anything and everything. So if you need family photos, portraits, anything, you name it, I got you. But that's the, just a side note. Yeah, that's a side note. <laughs> But uh, that's just another part of Bigger Hunters that we look forward to kind of sharing, too. So, all right, guys, that kind of wraps it up for tonight. We appreciate you guys listening to this podcast, our pilot episode. So we're probably going to be dropping this one in another episode. So there's probably going to be one after this already published. Make sure to check it out. We appreciate you guys so much. Yeah, thank you so much. Love you all. Look forward to the next one. All right, guys, have a good night.